this is the most interesting pathologist in the world, and I would like to talk to you about the next generation sequencing. The process begins with genomic DNA, but the DNA is far too long to be sequenced, so it must be broken into smaller pieces. This is done by a sonar pulse, so we will need a sound so unpleasant it can actually shatter DNA. Ah, thank you very much, Justin. Now, the DNA must be split into two strands that is denatured. It is then hybridized to a surface, either a bead or a solid plate. Now, I do not wish to favor one platform over another, so instead, we will hybridize to Chuck Norris's beard. Uh, it's a spherical Chuck Norris, but still, sexy nonetheless. The DNA fragment is then amplified in either an emulsion PCR reaction or an isothermal bridge amplification reaction. Yes, these are very, very big words indeed, but uh, just watch the video. Here is some music for you. And now, at last, we are left with a clonal cluster of DNA. The DNA is then sequenced together, in this case, with fluorescent nucleotides. As they are added, they emit light of a certain color, so that you know which nucleotide was added. Now, of course, there are other ways of doing this, such as monitoring current. But you must agree, this is the most, uh, pleasing to the eye. Ah, very beautiful.